Um, so the first exercise has to do with uh, looking at gene expression. So um, SPI1 is a, a transcription factor that's involved in um, blood cell development. So we can use screen uh, to look at the gene expression for this gene. So we can enter it in the search box and search in human. And here we can look at the gene expression. So once again, this is from um, RNA-seq experiments. Uh, these are poly-A-selected RNA-seq. Um, so here we can see that we have high expression um, in uh, blood cell lines. Uh, so this is a, a blood cancer cell line, as well as, for example, spleen tissue um, and other um, blood cell lines going down here. We also have high uh, rampage um, expression data, so rampage. Uh, captures the five prime end of um, uh, RNA transcripts. So you can actually get transcript level quantification on uh, not just gene level. So we can see here that uh, the transcripts for this gene have really high expression in different spleen tissue. We can actually look to see how many transcripts there are for this gene here. There's actually four of them. If you look at um, different transcription start sites, you can actually see there's different expression levels. So this one's actually much higher than the previous one. Um, and then continue to go up. So that's there. Um, so that we answered the transcript question. Um, in general, it's all expressed in blood cells and uh, spleen tissue. The next step was to find the CREs that overlapped uh, the gene, and which ones were active in B cells. So if we go to our CRE search results, we can see that we can display different uh, regions around the gene. The default is all the ones that overlap the gene body. If we want to just pick the CREs that are active in B cells, we can actually search for B cell in this box here. And there's actually different types of B cells depending on what um, assays have been done on different uh, people. We do have one um, sample that has all four assays, so this would be the best one probably to use to investigate. So now we've narrowed our list down to just three um, CREs that are active in B cells. Uh, the next step was to filter those that have a, a H3K27A CZ score greater than 2. You can use this using these slider bars here, so you can either slide it or you can uh, directly enter it into the box. And here uh, you can see it's narrowed down your search result to 2. There was a couple questions about what is a good Z score. Um, by default we use a, a Z score 1.64, which is the 95th percentile. But there may be situations where you want a more stringent or more lax z-score. Um, so for example, some of my analysis, I use a z-score minimum of two. Um, and sometimes that can clean up some of your results. Um, so I, uh, next step was actually selecting one of these CREs. This is a promoter-like CRE and looking to see it, it's act looking and analyzing its activity. So if we select this CRE, we can see it has really high H3K4 me3 and H3K27AC z-scores in all the different blood cells, particularly B cells, um, also high DNAs. You'll notice that you do have different uh, cell and tissue types depending on the assay, and this is just because we're limited. Uh, for example, DNAs is performed in some cell types, but not performed in others. So for example, if you see one in uh, one table, but not the other, you can make sure you can even search, for example, uh, to see if you have it or not. All right. Um, so the next step was looking to see um, the CRE overlapping peaks. We can look at the tf hismod intersection for this. Um, and so you can actually look to see that it overlaps um, uh, polymerase 2. If you click on the, the bar, and we'll bring up all the experiments and the links to the um, ENCODE project to actually look at the experiments. And you can see all these are done in lymphoblastoid cell lines, once again, um, keeping in the theme of it's all blood related. Um, and finally, um, we have the orthologous mouse CRE. We can look at the tab here and click on the CRE. And this will bring us to the orthologous one in mouse, which is near the orthologous gene. So that's an overview for the first part. Uh, the second part is uh, using the GWAS app. So this was from the um, landmark paper in 2014 that looked at um, a really large cohort of patients with schizophrenia. So we've um, up, this is one of the studies that we've preloaded into screen. If we click on this study here, we can look for uh, enrichments in certain tissues. And as you can see here, all the top ones are all from brain, uh, particularly the temporal lobe, lobe, the midfrontal area. Um, so the top enriched one here is the temporal lobe. If we click it, it will be all the CREs that have high signal in the temporal lobe. 
as well as the SNPs that overlap them. Um, so then um, the next uh, part was about sorting the table and selecting uh, the CRE at the top. So once again, all of these uh, columns are sortable. We can sort, for example, by just gene. Um, and if we click this one on the top here, um, which we then will bring to uh, this table here. So even though this is um, this uh, CRE overlaps the SNPs like with schizophrenia, we can see it's actually active in a lot of these immune cell types, which is interesting because we saw enrichment in brain. Instead, if we actually look at the nearby linked genes, we see that uh, there's actually a, a polymerase II chia pet connection between the CRE and the gene BCL11B. Um, so it's different than the nearest, pro nearest gene. It's instead linked to its nearest protein coding gene. We can look at the autologous mouse CREs as well. And uh, here, once again, here it doesn't have the um, non-coding gene in the mouse genome. Instead, the closest gene is BCL11B. If we click on this CRE, it's actually a very different activity pattern. We see that's active across um, brain tissues instead. So even though in adult humans it's active in a lot of these blood cell lines, in mouse it seems to be active during uh, brain development. And then finally, I think we looked at the differential uh, gene expression app. Uh, so we can retrieve this by going to the CRE uh, results page. And for mouse, you'll notice we have all these uh, delta symbols. Uh, just a quick look at the gene expression uh, first. We can see that it's really highly expressed in both uh, developing thymus and for brain tissue. Um, so it, it, it makes sense that the CRE would be active in brain since the gene's also expressed in brain, but then there's also that um, immune component as well with uh, high expression in the thymus. So if you go to the back here, we go to the gene expression app, uh, differential expression app, we can pick what uh, cell types we're interested in. So for example, it's high in, uh, I think I'll say pick for brain. We can see that this gene here, BCL11B, it's much higher expressed um, at uh, later time points of brain development. And it's actually quite correlated with all these enhancer-like CREs as well. So it can, once again, so the theme here is that you can use screen and use the uh, data in the ENCODE encyclopedia to try to uh, develop hypotheses, try to narrow down your data. A lot of you have these large lists of genes or, or SNPs that you're interested in. And so you can use this data to try to narrow down your focus and figure out what you want to experimentally validate.